currently eating lunch, but my lunch is at 10.25, so it's actually a, a breakfast for me. And I have field work every Wednesday and Thursday. I'm in a first grade classroom. And yeah, that's what you guys saw. And it's actually kind of cold in New York now, so I'm like trying to enjoy the, enjoy, enjoy the outdoors before it gets really, really cold. And it's not fun because I literally have to wake up at 5.45 to come into the city. And sometimes I'm still late. Like, if you're a morning person, God bless you, because I don't know how you do that. Like, I am a morning person, but morning for me means like 9.30, not 5.30, you know? But thankfully, I started drinking coffee recently again, after like seven years of not drinking it. And it's been kind of helping me, even though I don't really know a good coffee recipe. So all I do is like, boil some hot water, and then I just put some coffee grounds in it and just mix it with milk and that's what I call coffee but it works so also look at my fall outfit look how cute this is I actually thrifted this but on the tag it says Shein so you know Shein coming through but not actually supporting Shein so I made an art piece recently right it's called Sonder and it's about just like looking at the subway and having all these people during rush hour being in the same cart as you and like I'm trying to find the best in like the worst situations right so like I don't like waking up early so literally going into a crowded subway subway waking up so early is not the best feeling but I think about sometimes like all these people in the subway also have their own lives like they literally have so many unique lives and I'm never gonna know the lives and all the people that I meet, right? There's thousands of people that I come across every single day. It just makes me wonder, like, is my life actually hard? Like, there's probably someone else in the subway that has a harder life than me. And it really makes me wonder, like, damn, there's a lot of interesting people out there. this on a good day it usually takes me longer and I have a few things to update you guys on so first I'm trying to stop saying guys because it doesn't include all genders that's what we learned in class so if I keep saying that I'm sorry I'm trying to stop um, second there's this guy that I keep seeing well actually I saw him only once in the Jackson Heights train station and he's also Bengali he like talked to me the other day because he needed directions and then he's like my dad's age so he seems kind of fine like I'm usually really good at reading people and I'm good with like intuition and stuff so I couldn't really get like a creepy vibe for him from him and then he was like oh like I stopped you because you kind of look like my cousin but she lives in Australia and then he like asked me for a hug I was like oh okay like you know I was like hugging someone that looks like my freaking dad right and then we like talked the entire subway ride the first time and then he was like telling me about Bangladesh and whatever so I was like alright I wasn't really engaging that much but I didn't want to be rude either and then he like asked me for my number to like keep in touch I was like no you know like I'll see you on the subway and I was like literally thinking about that today and I actually saw him on the subway today but then I like walked away without letting him see me so I don't know that was, that was weird I bought seaweed today right because there's this thing on TikTok that's been going around and it's like you take salmon, like leftover salmon, you put it on rice, you smush it up, and then you can either put like avocado on it, you can put like soy sauce or like garlic sauce, whatever sauce you have, and then take seaweed, chopsticks, and then roll it up like sushi. And I've been wanting to try that for so long, but I haven't had seaweed, um, so I bought it, and I have leftover salmon, so I'm gonna make that today. Yeah, I have to do a lot today. You know, I had like an eight hour school day. It's like five o'clock already. I have to 
record my podcast if you guys haven't followed me difficultish on instagram and difficultish on all streaming platforms i have a podcast with my partner and we actually talk about a lot of lit shit about like south asian stuff and it's just conversations that i've always thought about the past few years and finally two bangladeshi people like literally bringing awareness to these things so i gotta record my podcast gotta make the food gotta edit i have homework to do and um what else do i have to do i don't even know but we'll see right friggin first graders are able to eat that early for lunch i mean at least they have snack time but like still it's really early and now i just made the sushi impromptu at home and it was actually pretty good it didn't look that appetizing but it was pretty good um now i'm gonna do some work i literally have like no time to relax like it's 8 30 already 30 already right i have to go to sleep by like 11 30 because i have to wake up at 5 45 in the morning for field work so I feel like I have no time for myself because now I have to do like work, I have to look at the podcast, I have to edit for YouTube, I have to do some art. Oh my god, I have literally no time for myself. But like I said before, um, like so many people dread waking up, going on the subway, having that monotonous routine every single day, right? But I realized that like my self-care time is like only on my commutes now. Like I usually never have time to read or if I do it's only for a few minutes. But now, like, I have to read on my commutes because I don't like sitting by myself doing nothing, you know? So it, like, forces me to, like, think or forces me to, like, slow down a little bit and, like, have some me time, um, which is, like, a pro for, like, the commute. Um, but, Thank you so much for joining me in my whole day, my New York City day in the life. Um, I'm probably just gonna get some more work done until I'm really tired and I can't do anymore. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe. I love you guys. Check out my website, labyrinthound.com. New things coming soon. And my podcast. And follow me on all my socials. But I love you guys. See you soon.